Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and today we're going to play with this crinkly um, packing paper. So if you don't like the, you might not want to watch. <laughs> Just a fair warning there, because it is crinkly and there's only so much I can do to not crinkle it very much. But um, I just thought it might be fun to make some ephemera bases. I don't know that I'll get a whole lot of decorating done today, but just play around and see what we can make with the packaging. Of course, this packaging could make a fantastic journal cover. You just have to probably, this is pretty thin. Sometimes it's thicker, but this particular one that I have is pretty thin, but you could double it up and, um, you know, make a cover out of it that way. But we're going to just play with it, um, you know, to make some ephemera. So just going to see what we come up with. It's kind of one of those days again. And, uh, I mean, I started the Patriotic Journal, and I am still working on that. It's just, you know how you kind of hit a wall sometimes? I think I've hit a wall. <laughs> so... <laughs> I just wanted to play around and, and see what we get. So that's what we're doing. So if, um, hopefully that will be helpful or something. So I think I'm just gonna kinda, like I said, make it up as I go along basically. Since this stuff is pretty forgiving. It's about the thickness of book page, really. So anything you do with book page, you could do with this, and it would uh, be equally useful. So I think I'm just going to do a basic kind of tall pocket with a tuck over here. You could probably already see that coming along. I kind of want it a little bit straight, <laughs> an attempt at making it straight anyway. can't tell if it's very straight. I want to say hugs and blessings to Trish, who I haven't seen in a while. Trish, it was very good to see a comment from you. So thank you for commenting. Sandy and Sue. And Sue, I haven't seen in a little bit. So good to see you too, my friend. Sandy hangs out with me just about every day. And um, I really, really appreciate it. And she usually always comments, which is very helpful to my channel. So I thank you, thank you. You guys are all awesome. I mean, I don't know what I would do without all of you. So we're just gonna glue this flap down. You could probably glue it and turn it into a pocket, but I'm just gonna glue it down to give it a little, a little oomph. So yeah, I'm just um, trying to stay warm because for some reason, I don't know, but it just got real cold and windy here. <laughs> I mean, cold because it was almost up to 70. Like we're in the 50s. It's not like it's freezing or anything. Well, it is in the morning, but um, I think it's just because we were, you know, pretty much in the 70s and sunny. And for some reason, that little adjustment, even over just a few days, it makes you feel like you're freezing when you're not. Normally, I would think that was warm, but after winter. So anyways, Pasha is uh, feeling the same way. He is, you can probably hear the blowing of the heater. He is planted right smack in front of it. But we also gave him a haircut <laughs> this weekend because he was getting... It seems no matter what we do, he gets mats, especially around his back legs because he just won't let us mess with that a whole lot. So then we gotta, you know, give him a close cut. So we cut him pretty close. We call him a little lamb when we do that. But um, we did that this weekend. So he's he's Pasha the little lamb right now. Cause he, he looks so tiny after you cut all that fur off of him. <laughs> Cause he's got so much fur, oh my gosh. So I'm trying to decide now. I think I will just go ahead and glue it. But I'm gonna put a thumb notch right here first. And I want a bigger one. Excuse my banging around. So yeah, he's just, he looks pretty sad cause he had, he got not the best haircut in the world. It's just, you know, we do it ourselves with scissors and 
the clipper thing that we have because I wouldn't wish the little monster onto anybody. Oh my gosh. He is awful when he gets a haircut. Acts like you're pulling his toenails out. Stinkweed. I put that back there because I could tell when I started to clamp it down that it was just gonna probably bend because it's still um, wet from the glue. So that's just a little trick if you didn't know you put another piece of stiffer paper sometimes it it will cut better if you're having trouble getting a decent cut certain papers like this by itself is just too thin and those um those cutters just don't love that you could even actually what you know what i think i'm going to do is do another one here because this could be a double 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 pocket Oh, you know what? I'm going to need that again, huh? Almost, almost missed it up. Hopefully I can get it sort of in the same spot. <laughs> I don't want it any, like, more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then we have a double pocket. Because you're going to glue it down to your journal page. And we can make a second pocket area. So yeah, these probably aren't going to be earth shaking to anyone, but just, you know, look at the stuff you get in the mail um, that you might normally throw in the trash. I love this brown packing paper for, I mean, a million things. You can use it to cover um, journals, you know, like cover the cover like if you were using the manila file folder and you wanted a more grungy look or whatever you could use this to cover it because it's nice and thin it's not so super thick you can get the really thick um craft packing paper too and that's great if you're just wanting if you want to make a cover out of it itself I don't know how much of this is actually going to meet up with the top part because it's all torn. But it'll it'll hit somewhere, right? So yeah, I'm feeling tired today and I don't know why. So that makes it always hard to do, um, come up with stuff for a video. <laughs> I think it was my weekend. I did not get my normal, I kind of catch up on weekends. That's my catch-up time, and I didn't because of my daughter traveling, which I'll stop complaining, but anyway, <laughs> so just kind of tired. I think I might put a little something over that, like another little piece of this, since I kind of ripped it on accident right there, just to strengthen it. Where did I put my glue stick? Oh my goodness, right next to me, right there looking at me so yeah I think once a week I'll try to do a book page video or a, you know just envelope whatever just something each week that hopefully not saying it'll always be ground breaking information but reminders and whatnot All right, so there's a good pocket. You'll just glue it down to a journal page um, along the top, down the back, and along the bottom, and you'll have one, two tucks. So that's always good, see? Definitely. One, two. All right, so we'll set that aside, and we'll do a different one. And all those little bits I can use for things, too, so. And they're kind of great because you could really just use it in a journal, especially if you're doing a, a botanical journal or something. Or, you know, I could easily use it in a patriotic journal. But um, just add maybe a little piece of book page and a flower and voila. Voila. This time I think it'll go up. So I'm going to... Oh, we could even make an envelope. That. And I don't mind that it's wrinkly. If you don't like it, 
you don't want it wrinkly, then you could um, iron it, but I don't even hardly iron clothes anymore, so <laughs> the chances of me ironing some craft paper is about zero. I think it would be fun to have kind of a jaggedy full flap on it. Yeah. Oh, I gotta show you guys my new digital. I am very excited about how it came out. If you love flowers, let me tell you, this is the is the kit for you. Um, I like to do envelopes like this, and you guys probably have seen me do these, where you lift up the flap and there's the pockets right there rather than being up here because I feel like you can never get stuff in and out very easily. And also, if you have more flap, you have more decoration area. So, they folded. Yeah, I'll grab it in just a minute and I'll show you guys. I'll pause and stitch this closed. I like to stitch them. You don't have to, you can glue them. All you gotta do is stitch up the stitch up like that. This one obviously we're not gonna be able to stitch quite like that, but and it might be a little thin. So I'm gonna probably add another little piece that I tore off along here just to strengthen this. Gail was so sweet, Gail Agostinelli. She left a comment on my video. I think it was the last one or maybe the one before. I don't know exactly, but anyways, it was one of those. Um, uh, talking about how long we've known each other and I've been, this summer will be my seventh year, I think in July, doing videos. Um, I just kind of started on a whim, if you don't know, because I know I have lots of new people, so welcome, welcome. And if not, you're just hearing a broken record, and I apologize. <laughs> but um, anyways, I started just on a whim because, you know, I've always loved to craft and paint. And Oh my goodness. I did ne do um, needle felting and all kinds of things. But um, my son and my husband were like, you should do a YouTube video just to, you know, see if you get any people watching and you like doing it. So it would be just like a fun little thing to do. And um, at that time, I didn't even think about an Etsy store or any of those kind of things. And I was working at a elementary school. And so um, I was like, yeah, I guess I could. And we had been at dinner with some friends and... Um, she was talking about how some people that they knew were doing YouTube videos. They did stuff with their kids. So, I mean, it was an entirely different type of thing. So I clearly don't get the views that they do. But, um, you know, to supplement income or whatnot. And so I was like, yeah, that, that might be a good way to, to do that. And... It, uh, it takes quite a while to get to a thousand subscribers and you need a thousand subscribers before you can um, monetize your videos. I did put glue on there. I'm still going to stitch it. Um, but gosh, I can't even remember how long that take took. It had to have taken around a year or more. But anyway, I got to a thousand subscribers and I also opened an Etsy shop just to sell ephemera and journals and things like that, just to have somewhere to, to sell out of. And at first, you know, I didn't do, I didn't sell a whole lot, um, but just kept kind of trucking at it. And then it ended up being my job, my full-time job. 
So that was fantastic because that, you know, that's like super fun. It's like your dream. <laughs> You're like, you're living your dream, you know? So that's, that was a lot of fun to get to that point where I could quit working at the school. And, and I was only working three hours a day at the school. So it's not like I was, you know, making a huge income anyways. But to be able to make enough to do that was great. And so I did. And along the way, I met Gail. And um, she was just super helpful because I didn't know anybody in my area at all that um, made journals or anything like that and or had an Etsy shop to sell craft type things or anything. And so um, I did have a journal I shipped out to Canada and it got destroyed by customs. And um, I was devastated because I thought it was something I had done wrong at first, but it wasn't. It was, uh, I found out later <laughs> that it was customs that had taken it apart. But anyways, um, in the meantime, I had contacted Gail to say, you know, what would you do and what, you know, so she just helped me out so, so much. She's just the kindest lady and um, has always been willing to, you know, show my book cradles and she's better at showing my book cradles than I am <laughs> because I get so nervous sewing in um, signatures for some reason. It just seems like I always mess up on video when I do that. But, um, yeah, she's just always been awesome to me. So I love her. All right, I'm going to stitch this and grab the new digital, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I stitched this up just on the bottom because of the way I tore that. I didn't I didn't feel like stitching up there. But that's that. Um, so this is called Love of Flowers. I just was having so much fun playing with these flowers. And I thought this would be a great kit if you wanted to make like a Mother's Day journal or a um, Mother's Day card or something like that. Just with all the flowers and the prettiness of butterflies and birds and things like that. So you'll get four pages of um, the tags and then, you know, the goodies that go on them. It's a 24-page digital download. So there's lots of flowers. There's like little frogs. And butterflies, um, long strips of flowers. These are just good to fill space. You can obviously cut, you know, a piece off or whatever. You don't have to use the whole strip together. And I kind of tried to stay sort of in the 20s for the ladies. Um, and I did them in sepia tone because I thought they would show up better if you, you know, were to put them on the tag than if they were in the same color tones as um, the flowers. So that's why those are like that. There's another lady and more tags. You could do a, a floral um, tag journal. It would be fun. Just a journal journal. Then there's a couple journaling cards and some more ladies that haven't been fully cut out. They're just on the little cards. I even did some little ones, almost like stamp size, a little bit bigger, but you know, that sort of idea. And then there's lots of fussy cut flowers. And I know some people don't like fussy cuts. So I did the background in that. Um, it's kind of a beige color, just so that when you're fussy cutting, if it's not perfect, at least you've got not white edges. And there's bees. And then there's some of these pockets. And I did this time, I made the larger size of the pocket. And then I also made the smaller size of the pocket. So hopefully, um, cause some were asking for smaller size pockets. So there's both in this one. I don't like to make them too small because then, you know, it's really hard to use them if they get too small. But I tried to, you know, make full size, small size, um, add some goodies around that you can use. And then there's all these journaling cards, but of course you can also put them um, on top of pockets or whatever. Again, really small ones for almost like stamps. You can cut around them to make them look like stamps. 
Uh, another cool thing I've seen is people will cut, say, book page using a deckle edge scissor or deckle edge trimmer um, and then make it just a teeny bit bigger than your image, put your image on there, and that it really does end up looking like a stamp, so that's fun. And then we have these ladies that are more fussy cut, but pretty easy fussy cuts to add to the tags. And there's more flowers and birds, dragonflies. So, very fun. And this is an envelope. Oh, I keep forgetting to do this. I don't know why I do that. But anyway, you're going to fold here. This is one fold. There's another fold. Another fold. And then the fold of the flap. So basically, it's a square or rectangular envelope shape or card that you would put in this envelope. You're just folding down your flaps. That's so basically where the indent is, you fold from this or you score from this indent to this indent, this indent to this indent, this indent to this indent, this one to that one. And that's how you get your envelope. And then there's another, this, this is a very small pocket, but you can definitely use it as a pocket. And then the two ladies, these ones are a little older time period, but I thought yeah, it'll work. Um, two of the CD envelopes. They're small. They're not full-size CD envelopes. And then, um, oh, I forgot this one should be here. This is the number 10 window envelope cover. Or you can just cut these out, put some acetate behind, fold how you like it, make your own faux envelope, if you will. And then there's five of the full color background pages of flowers, all floral. So you could definitely make some pretty cards, I feel like, with these. This is for you, Mary. <laughs> she likes to make cards. And then the 50% muted. So I took 50% of the color out to get the muted one. These obviously for journaling pages so you can write on them a little easier. That uh, The other would be a little busy to write on. So then there's the same uh, five designs in this full color. You get those five designs but muted by 50%. So they're, they're just very pretty. Very girly. I really love it. And I think you could definitely use this kit very nicely with the, um, oh, I can't even think of what I called it now, the ballerina kit that I just did. Um, why can't I think of what that's called? I'm drawing a total blank. But anyway, the only ballerina kit I have in my shop, I think would go really nicely with this kit if you wanted to use the background pages or whatnot. So that is the new one, and I'm very excited for that. And I think that's why I'm tired, because I've been working on getting that done. And also um, Gail mentioned, which other people have also mentioned, tags to go in the, in the pockets. And so I'm also working on a kit of tags that'll I mean, they're not going to be identical match to the um, the pocket kits, but you'll definitely find a tag in there that would work. And I, ah, those tags are all the same size. The tags that I have done for the pockets, there's a, a couple different sizes. So that's another benefit of that. This is a little hard to tear. You have to be very careful. Okay. okay, this one I will do more of a library pocket style, I think. And right where I ripped it is where we really will actually I might fold it down. just to strengthen that a little bit. So the next exciting thing we have coming up is my daughter's graduation. 
and praying that she gets the internship for the summer so she can pay her rent. <laughs> Uh, I mean, she could get any kind of job and it would be fine. It doesn't have to be that. It would just be real nice if she got that. <laughs> so keep your fingers crossed. She said the interview the other day didn't go as well as she wanted. Um, I mean, they all like got along fine and chatted and laughed and stuff like that. But one of the questions she didn't really know how to answer. You know, it always seems like you get one of those, especially right out of college Ugh, those questions that you're just like I never would have thought of that they asked her because she's doing you know graphic design um, and this company does a lot of the branding and stuff like that for different food companies and all those kind of things and they asked if she were a brand which brand fits her personality the best <laughs> I was like where do they come up with that stuff? <laughs> She's like, I just didn't know what to say. And she had traveled all weekend and, you know, you know. I mean, of course, after a thought, you think of things, but yeah. So anyway. Uh, but. So she's not sure. She's like, would it be okay if I just told you about my personality? <laughs> Which isn't what they want, you know, they want to see how quick you are on your feet and all those kind of things, that's what they're looking for, but, I don't know, anyway, it is what it is, there's only so much you can do, <laughs> and I'm just going to put this on here sloppily as it is, and I'm not worried about it, because I kind of like that, like if it sticks out a little bit, I like that look, maybe I'll flip it this way. The two torn edges are together. Now, if you don't like all this torn edge thing and you don't, you just don't like it because that's fine. Um, you can obviously cut it with a cutter or cut it with the scissors or whatever. I just, I myself like the torn, grungy, crinkled, munched up look of it. But uh, you, you don't have to do that at all. And my son's just dashing for the finish line this year. <laughs> he's been working a lot of hours and stuff, so he's just been busy. I haven't hardly talked to him at all. But it's good. That's what you do when you're that age. Work your hiney off. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have put glue on the whole thing, huh? So I guess I will cut that. Just to survive... I remember those days. He was complaining the other day because he had to work a 10-hour shift. And I was like, when I was your age, I was working at a hospital and we worked 12s. <laughs> so three 12s was what we worked. So I feel you. I know. I've been there. It's not fun, but you do it and you're young. And 10, hour, 10 12 hours when you're young is not the same as it is when you get older so but yeah I get it it's not fun being there that long the great thing about working those 312s was you got four days off and that's now that's awesome oh, that did not cut that at all it's the glue the cutters don't like the glue The punches don't like it. The cutters don't like it. Nothing likes the glue. Yeah, I did that. I did the hospital thing for 10 years. And after that, I sort of had lost faith in humanity. <laughs> I worked in, in the... Uh, emergency department and that was <sighs> yeah. see a lot I was just a unit clerk I wasn't like anything because I obviously had no training or any type of medical but it paid the bills 
definitely see some things, that's for sure. That you never wanted to know or see. All right, now we're gonna punch a hole again. Yeah, sorry, this isn't super duper exciting, but I just thought these might be fun, and I thought, I've been getting this packing a lot in my packages lately, so I thought maybe other people were too. And I mean, any anything you do with book page or any other paper, obviously you can do with this. And I think sometimes we just forget and we throw it away, you know? Well, we probably don't as, as junk journalers, but if you're just starting, and you don't have to save every piece of it that you get, because I did that at first, you know, I thought, oh, I got it, you know, save all this stuff. And then you're just buried in trash, essentially. I mean, it's not once you make something out of it, but it is until then. <laughs> and, um, but, you know, save a piece of it or something and make a little something out of it. Just recycling, just speed. Plus, it's fun to play with different textures of paper. Just a little crafty chat with my pals. Yeah, I don't think you have to do a whole lot to a lot of these, especially if you're going to use them in a... Um, I don't know, manly style journal or something like that. But of course you could just girly it all up too and put pretty papers and pretty flowers or whatever. All right. We could decorate one. Which one do I want to decorate? I think I'll do this side pocket. We'll do something with it for the patriotic journal. Oh, it's getting roasty in here now, Pasha. Nope, he's still cooking himself over there in front of the... He's loving it, and I'm getting hot now. What is that after you eat lunch? Have you ever noticed, or dinner, or whatever? Do you get cold? A little bit like your body's working to digest all that food and so then you're like Ooh, I gotta chill <laughs> maybe it's just me but yeah you get a little a little chilled but now I'm toasty I've got I've got a paper landslide A paper landslide. It's easy to do. Um, I gotta print out some more kits for I I'll show you in a minute. I did. Hopefully I'll remember to show you in a minute. I say that a lot and then I forget. Um did the signatures. I don't have them sewn in yet, but I think it's a fun one. I have never done a patriotic one. I just was a little apprehensive because everybody's got such conflicting views anymore on the whole thing. And it's like, you know, I'm just going to do one because I like it. And if nobody wants it, <laughs> Or likes it, then I guess that's that. But I like it. Like I said, it was Fourth of July was one of my dad's favorites, and um, I just always think of him when I think of patriotism because he was very patriotic. Him and my grandfather. So good memories for me. I love my country.
I have a picture of him during the Second World War. He, um, him and his sister, um, I can't remember how old. She was about three or four. He must have been like seven, I think, six or seven, somewhere around there. But all dressed in a uniform, he would go around and collect tin cans and stuff like that. <laughs> He's so cute. Cute, cute, cute. So this journal is going to be a little bit more, like, you could obviously, it could fall under 4th of July, but I also feel like it just, that general, I don't know, patriotic look, you know, um, doesn't have to be just the 4th of July. That'd be cute. But, yeah. This is the Patriotic Kit. I'm using a few different kits to make this journal. So... And one of them's from Bohemian Crafting. It's not even mine. It's the, um... One with the George Washington images and that. Um, I have George Washington in mind too, but I mean they're like these old pieces of ephemera. And that's Bohemian Crafting. That's linked in the description box below. So if you're looking for this one, it's in the description box below the video. I've had a few questions that they couldn't find the patriotic kit and I don't, I tried to give links and stuff so I apologize about that I don't know what I'm not sure what the the problem is so you have to if you're still looking you're still having trouble you might have to give me a little more information just so I know what we're we're all on the same page about because maybe I'm giving you the link to my patriotic kit and you want her patriotic kit Mine's a little more, um, I guess you could say modern images. I'm trying to give you guys all the information. Always check the description box. That, for all creators, is always the best place to look if you um, maybe didn't hear exactly what they said or whatever. Always check the description box because it's just a good place to find kits or something they talked about, you know, a link to another channel, whatever. And the description box is... If you're looking at your phone, I'm going to say phone because it's not the same for um, TVs and all that. So I'm going to say phone. If you look at your phone screen where you're watching the video, right to the right hand side, there's a little kind of gray arrow. Click on that and that brings down the description box and then you can find information. On a TV, it's different, and everybody's TV is different, so I, I don't know. That's cute. Little cutie pie. <laughs> Smiley face kids. Okay. I don't know what I'll put in there yet. 
you could even make a journaling card out of the, um, you know, that paper to, to put in there. Will they, one of these fit? No, of course not. If I took off that part, it probably would. These ones are just coffee dyed, coffee dyed um, gift chicks. Yeah, see, that would fit in there. And you could use this somewhere else if you wanted. Sure, why not? And then obviously I would have another pocket too. This thing I got on Amazon, it's just a thread cutter, old fashioned thread cutter by Clover. Just roughs up the edges. Same thing the little plastic Tim Holtz one does. kind of fun to bring all different bits and pieces um, into your journals because especially something like this it all coalesces to give you that sort of America you know what I'm saying which is kind of the way I feel about this too it's just all kinds of randomness but I mean that's the way our lives are it's just all kinds of stuff that we collect and we have and we use and I don't know it's just interesting but anyways I did um these are not sewn in, but this one will go here. And there's just all different papers, coffee dyed, Sears and Roebuck. This is from Taylor Made Journals. I need to list that one because I did not list that one. Um, book page. Yeah, so just all kinds of stuff. And then this is the next one. And there's like the blue, oops, this is for tomorrow's. Um, blue grungy wallpaper in there. This is from um, Grungy Fabric. I think that's the second volume two. That's from volume one. And there's book page. These are scrapbook papers that I had that I printed just coffee dyed paper on the other side. So yeah, there's just all different papers in there. And then when we come to the back, we have our third one. So the pages are ready. They just have to be sewn in. And then once they're sewn in and I put the fabric on the spines, then I'll put that on. But that's where we are. And our ephemera today is a little envelope and two pockets. Oops, I didn't even glue this pocket. <laughs> This one looks kind of wide. I'm hoping I didn't make it too wide. I should probably check that. Because <laughs> that would be bad. Where is my other ruler? I never have a ruler when I need it. And I've got like five of them. But you think they're ever anywhere. Five, okay. That is barely. So that will fit on a page. So pocket, two pockets, an envelope. Very fun. You could just sit and that's another thing. You could sit and just fold pockets and come up with all kinds of different ideas. So same as book page pockets. All right, guys. So we will chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.